How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another video. Okay, the Labyrinth has just released. I'm gonna call Necropolis Labyrinth in this video because I think Labyrinth just sounds nicer. Okay, so this is my team right now. Uh, a little bit has changed, right? Because Labyrinth is out, I was actually able to max out almost all my skills except for uh, Furia, okay? I, I let her be the last. Um, I maxed out my Suzu, I maxed out my Sushi. I was a little bit worried that my Wombo would fail because of this. If you look at the video at the top, I will show you uh, a link to my previous run in Orochi, right? Orochi, yes. Uh, and the combo relied on my Suzu to go first, followed by, immediately followed by Sushi. Uh, and I was afraid that this would break because right now, they both have a 100% skill gauge. Wow, well, this Kraken's going down really fast. Um, they both have a 100% skill gauge. I was worried that because the AI tends to run from left to right in terms of who uses their skill, right? So if all three units are ready, uh, the AI would prefer the left unit followed by the middle unit followed by the right unit um, but because Suzu is paired up with the Owl they both do not have any uh, proximity requirements to the boss to use their skill so essentially the, the strategy still works because uh, Suzu can use her skill immediately right right at the start right at the flipper she's able to use her skill immediately and Sushi has a closer requirement he has to be a little bit closer to the boss, you know, to use his skill. So this combo, uh, this wombo combo still stands. And uh, I, I did try a lot of different lineups. I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like revamped my entire win team earlier. Um, I tried to shift it out to make it strictly like all the main units become win, so that I can try to play around with the new lab weapon, right? Which is uh, the 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 bow, the lab bow that I'm currently using as well. So what the lab bow does is. Uh, apart from increasing the attack of all wind type units, which is very nice, uh, it also it, up to ten up to ten chances. Whenever you have a thirty combo, you will increase your own uh, skill gauge by like I think I think it goes up to ten percent or something like that. It is really good. It, that that is really good. Um, but unfortunately, I decided against it because it kind of like messed up my combo. But I was trying my best to make it as I like synergy, okay? I, I really like synergy in this game. I think synergy is everything that, that I care about. Um, not only did it mess up my synergy a little bit, but I realized that I'm not comboing as much as well because I don't have a lot of airtime. I mean, it's kind of weird because this team of mine is supposed to have a lot of airtime, but that's not what I'm seeing. Um, and as such, I don't I don't normally have 30 combos to, to even proc that. So I said, ah, heck it. I'm just going to leave it on Furia because See, okay, see, if, if I luck out right now with 30 combo, at least she will gain like some decent uh, skill gauge. I don't want to have to gamble that with the rest of my team. So that's that. Other than that, uh, this team seems to work really well. So I'm gonna. So obviously, I started off with the Wind Lab. Sorry, the, the Thunder Lab, right? This is a Thunder Lab. Because most players have rerolled for the Sushi team. Okay, uh, the Sushi team is extremely meta. It's extremely viable everywhere. Apart from Sushi team, of course, there's the Rams team, which I have as well. So I was able to beat some other Labyrinth stages as well. Um, but yeah, I think this is the, 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 the most straightforward one because everyone, is, everyone who has started from day one should be able to, to handle this pretty well. So even if they're using a Celti team, I think that works as well. Uh, in fact, I think Celti teams could be a little bit better if you are using the the bow right if you're using the lab bow on your selty i think her combo is gonna be really crazy anyway so yeah there you go so that's the run quite easy quite smooth so the reason why registari is still here is because uh sometimes i do realize that my feria is the last standing duo and as long as reggie gets the skill going he revives everyone and that's awesome so that that saves me sometimes so yeah, I do use this team in other lab stages as well, other lab 70s. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, do leave it down in the comments below. I will try my best to reply as soon as I can. Um, do take note that I may not be able to upload that frequently for the rest of the week onwards because of life. Uh, but I will still try my best to, to, to upload whenever I can because there's a lot that I really want to share about the game. Uh, yeah, so with that said, this has been free to play by the way. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.